Hi guys, welcome to a video diary. I am here. What is this? Oh, my glasses. Well, that's not a good thing. Let me make sure I didn't break them. Okay, you guys are good. Um, <laughs> it has been um, a very busy last couple days. Um, I'm over it already. And I still have to get through Apollo. He starts to howl because he hears the sirens outside. <laughs> Apollo. It's okay, Papa. Oh my God. Now they're all going to howl. Hang on, you guys. So little things like that is cute, you know, like little things like that. But these dogs are a lot of work. Um, there's three of them. It's a lot of work, especially because I work too. So, so the days that I had to go to work, um, I had to make a decision. So basically the bulldog has, he can either be in his crate or outside one or the other. He can't be in the house, like roaming around by himself because he will pee and poop everywhere. Um, he's crate trained, but only for like a few hours and I work six hour shifts. So I made the decision to keep him outside the whole time I was at work. Of course I feel bad because it's like, I feel bad. Like I feel, I feel bad for the dogs, but at the same time, it's like, I still have to go to work, you know? And then the other two, I left him in the house, which six hours is a long time to keep dogs in the house. And I knew they're going to make a mess, but I came home last night to a mess. Um, you know, they got sick. One of them got sick from the food. I think they just have anxiety. They just, they, they, they get all weird when my parents aren't around. And so <clears throat> they threw up and then there was like poop on the floor and it was just a lot. It was a mess. And I broke down because it's just been a very stressful week. <laughs> um, it's been stressful because I have to, I've been taking care of the three dogs by myself. I'm not used to the doing that. Like, it's a lot of work. Um, I miss my house. I'm homesick for my cats. Um, I'm homesick just to be home. And I'm homesick for my husband because my husband's finally back and I have to be here for a week. So it's just really hard. It's been really hard for me to be positive. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be positive, but it's like, um, I feel like I've just been more irritable than I have positive, to be honest. Like when I'm at work, I'm stressing about what's happening with the dogs here at the house. And then when I'm here at the house, it's like, I don't want to be here. I just want to be at my house. So I'm trying my hardest to just get through the week, <laughs> my parents are going to be flying back Wednesday morning, so they should be here. I think I pick them up from the airport in the afternoon. And um, low-key, I don't even want to go into work on Wednesday. <laughs> I just want to come home because my husband is going to be off work, and then he works six days in a row. So I'm just having a really, really hard time with dealing with just everything. I feel like the moment I finally have my husband back, you know, I, I said yes to helping my parents out with their dogs. And I just feel like I should have said, no, I'm too nice. Um, when I, you know, when I do this kind of thing, I always regret it. Like I always tell myself, why do I put myself in these situations? You know, I should, I should have just said no. <laughs> and, um, next time I'm probably going to say no because I can't, I just can't deal. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I think it's just, I just, I'm just not a dog person like that. Um, but like picking up after them, picking up after their poop just grosses me the fuck out. Like I just, I, I get so nauseous. Um, <laughs> it's just really bad. You guys, like I'm, I'm miserable right now. <laughs> so I'm just trying my hardest to stay calm as calm as I can be. Um, 
my husband was home last night. Well, he was home. He was, he came down, um, yesterday was Saturday. He came down Friday night, um, to, st to spend the night with me. And then he was home. He was here Saturday, but he went to go visit his family while I was at work. And so, um, it feels like I look like I have so much gray hair, but it's my dry shampoo too. <laughs> um, so he was, you know, visiting his family and doing his thing, running errands and stuff while I was at work. And then when I got home here to the house, um, and I saw the mess, I freaked out. And luckily he was already pulling into the driveway too, and he helped me clean it. So it was just, I was so grateful that he was still around <laughs> because I probably would have like fallen apart if it was just me. Um, and I know like some of you guys watching this are probably like, it's no big deal. It's just dog poop, but it, it grosses me out. Like I'm, I, my, I feel like my sense of smell is so strong right now. And just like the smell is like really getting to me. Um, my parents' house, I feel smells like dog. <laughs> I just don't, I don't, I'm not happy right now. Um, I really, really, really want to be back in my own house. So um, I have today off, I have Monday off, and then, um, I go into work Tuesday, and then Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, like early afternoon, they're flying back, so they haven't told me if they want me to pick them up or not. I feel like my parents just kind of threw this whole vacation at me and really didn't think about me <laughs> like I still have to go to work you know even though you guys have all these plans like you never checked in with me if this time was okay with me or what days do I work and what is going to happen with your dogs while I'm working because I'm still working like I my life doesn't pause for you guys you know and so I feel like I'm just really irritated about all of it because I feel like they didn't take me into consideration when they were doing their plans they just like said, hey, we're going to go away for like seven days and thank you very much. <laughs> and then, of course, like when, oh, sorry, you guys. Ugh. Of course, when I um told my parents, I told my mom last night because they shit all over her runner. Like she has like this carpet runner thing um, in her living room and they shit all over it, threw up all over it. So I was like... <laughs> Do you want me to just throw this away? Because I don't even know if it's salvageable. Like, my husband was scrubbing it, but I was just like, is this even worth it, you know? And so she was just like, well, how long were they in the house for? And I'm like, six hours, six and a half hours. I just got home. And she's like, that's too long for them to be in the house. And I'm like, I was at work. I was at work. I don't have a lunch. Uh, I don't have a lunch break. I work six hours. I work part time. My shifts are long, six hour shifts because I commute. So I'm not. I'm not going to work for three or four hour shifts, you know. And I don't know what she was thinking. Like, I, I told her, <laughs> I told her my schedule. So I don't know what she was thinking, and she was just getting all upset about like six hours is too long for them and this and that. And I'm like, half an hour. I get have a half hour break. Half an hour is not long enough for me to drive here, let them out, do their thing, and then drive back to work. Like, it takes at least 45 minutes to an hour for me to do that whole thing because there's so much traffic down here. There's so many people. The freeway is always packed. Like, it's just not possible. So, and I'm like, I'm not going to waste my only break at work to, like, zoom over here, although I did that on Thursday um, <laughs> because I was so stressed about the whole, like, them making a mess thing. So, I'm just so tired. <laughs> so tired. Um, and I, I just, I was really like, I was really pissed. And then like the next thing, like they're, they're like, well, sorry, I have Vaseline here, you guys. That's for my eye. Um, so then they're like, oh, well, can you imagine what it's like for your sister having three kids? And I'm like, no, because I don't have kids. And what does that have to do with the, my situation? Like I just, I was really irritated that they would throw that at me. Like, they do those things. And then I broke down. I broke down crying because I was just upset, like, that they they find a way to make it my fault. And it's like, I'm doing you guys a favor, you know. And it's not my fault that I had to be at work and your dog's messed up in your house. 
what do you want me to do? I was like, I could throw them all outside and then they don't want them all outside because they're going to bark all day or the, the little one might fall in the swimming pool. They don't want me to, to throw just two of them outside and keep the little one in the house because he has separation anxiety so he'll cry all day. So it's just like, I can't win <laughs> and I'm really frustrated. Um, so I'm here making a video complaining about it because I just need to get it out. And so the only way for me to get it out is by talking about it. And then, of course, you know, like I talked to my husband about it yesterday and just I let my feelings out and like cried a little bit because <laughs> I'm just homesick. I want to go home. Um, but it was it was nice. Like I needed to do that with him. But today I'm just I'm really frustrated today. Um, what time is it? I can't see. It's 10 something. <laughs> So today and tomorrow I have to plan, um, I wanted to do some readings and get that taken care of, but I'm like, if my mood is the way that it is, I'm just like, I hope I could sit down and do a reading and, and concentrate. But like I, I attempted a reading yesterday and I had to do two parts because of, I think it was, there was like an interruption with the dogs and then they started barking and stuff. And I'm like, this is so not peaceful for me like I can't do a reading with all of this chaos around me so I love the dogs as much as I love them but they're just too much it's too much it's a lot of work for one person and my, I don't think my parents realize that because they're retired they both are retired so they're home all day every day with the dogs you know so it's just like they don't have to worry about leaving them in crates or putting them outside or this and that like like I have to right now <laughs> So just got to get through a couple more days. Um, but yeah, I'm irritated. I'm very irritated and I have like zero passion right now for anything else because all I can focus on and think about is dog stuff, just like t dealing with that. And then um, today's a big day for my hubs and I wish I could be there for him with him. You know, I know he's really nervous about his, his official, official, official 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 first day of doing things <laughs> and um I wish I could be there with him you know and it kills me that I'm not there and it kills me that I'm not able to like you know support him in the way that I would like to be able to support him because I'm freaking here and it's I don't live around the corner you know it's 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 far away like it's an hour at least so it's been hard, you guys. Like, it's hard. And I, I know that eventually this is just going to be a little memory. Like, it's not going to be nothing. But at least right now, while I'm going through it, it's it's really hard. So, ay, ay, ay. Um, other than that, other than that, um, <laughs> I have, I've had a lot of really cool feedback from you guys from my other video about the spirit attachment um a lot of you guys have been giving me your love and like just giving me some nice you know advice or like your feelings on the matter and this and that and um it's really cool to see a lot of support on it because I am nervous to um to tap on that area of my life too but I feel like I'm not like I'm ready to deal with it but not this week like not with taking care of these dogs and stuff like I need to be in my own home to deal with this and so um I made the video because it was fresh on my mind but um as far as like doing a reveal of my name and all of that that's not going to happen at least for a couple a couple weeks um because I have to start sorting stuff out with me first. Um, I was talking talking to a coworker, and like I said in the video, I think I said it in the video where um, my name, my real name, feels like a bad word coming out of my mouth, and definitely hearing it out of people's other people's mouths who normally would call me Rose. Um, it's a weird, a weird feeling, and it's something that I want to. It's something that I want to like become more comfortable with and I feel like I feel like with time it'll be a little bit easier and I'll, I'll be able to be more comfortable with that. Um but <laughs> that's something that I just don't have the the energy to to deal with like right this moment, you know? Like right now. <laughs> right now my my whole mindset, my my whole like focus right now is just getting through the next three days, 
four days. How many days is it? <laughs> um, get through the next couple days and then go home and like not talk to my family for a while. <laughs> like I feel like after they come back from vacation, like I just need a break from them. Um, like, bye, I'm going to disappear now dealing with my own life, you know. Um, I feel like that's what I need to do <laughs> because this little favor for them has turned into a big, a big deal. And, um, I'm like over it. I'm so over it already. So you can hear him barking too. I had to throw the bulldog outside cause he was pissing me off. Like he's just, he's like, he's like a little meatball. He's, he's, he's lovely. He's, he's very loving and like friendly and this and that, but he, um, he likes to get into everything and like if I'm eating and he's like slobbering around like it grosses me out so I have to throw him out when I eat because I just ugh, I can't deal <laughs> so um yeah I know it sounds so insensitive and I'm sure some of you guys who are dog lovers are probably just like I don't see what the big issue is but you have to like look at it from a perspective of somebody who is just I am, I, I am not, I, I am a dog person, like, I love Apollo, like, my weenie dog, but he's a tiny little weenie dog, you know, <laughs> and there's three of these dogs, and, um, I'm a cat person, I'm a cat person, and I'm just spoiled, I guess, call me a spoiled little brat, I'm spoiled, you know, I'm not used to taking care of all the, all the crap and all that stuff, <laughs> and, um, and then it's just me by myself, so, if my hubs was here, it'd be a little bit easier to be frustrated because then I could just be frustrated with him. But I think it's, I think it's not just the dogs though. I think my frustration is a combination of like, my husband has been gone for seven months. He's finally back and I'm not here to, I'm not with him right now <laughs> because I have to be here. So I think it's like, I'm a little resentful about that. Um, but ultimately it's not the dogs' fault. It's my fault. It's my responsibility that I chose to take on like I said I could have said no and I didn't so it's really my fault like I have nobody to blame but me for being frustrated and all of that so <laughs> it's me but um but yeah it feels so much better to just come on here and do a video diary like just to come on here and talk to you guys like it, that really makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> so I'm grateful. I gra I'm grateful I can do that. Um, what else? What else was I wanted to talk about? Um, oh, the fall theme readings. So the fall theme readings have been pretty popular. But um, I will not be taking any more orders for them as of October 31st. So. If you want to book a fall theme reading, please book it before the 31st or by the 31st. But um, after that, I will be removing um, that option from my website. And um, the fall theme readings will no longer be available and they'll be available next year. So um, if you want to get your hands on one, like I said, they're at discount, like real discount prices. Like they're super cheap. Um, please book one. Or forever hold your peace until 2020, <laughs> October 2020, or September 2020, because I usually throw them out like two months early. But um, but yeah. So I think I'm just gonna lay down, read more of it. I've been enjoying it. It's been creepy, creepy. <laughs> um, so I'll probably just read some of that and just chillax and see if I could calm down. Because right now I just feel really like triggered. Um calm down and then if I feel good I'll probably attempt to do a reading or two but I need to be like in the zone and I don't feel very much in the zone in my parents house like this used to be my home like it's weird too like this used to be my home you know this is where I grew up in and <clears throat> it doesn't feel like home anymore and I, I kind of I'm happy about that because I feel like I finally like embraced my house as my home where for a while even with that my house didn't feel like a home because um I had to really live in my new house like by myself because my husband left two months after we bought the house <laughs> he went on he went to the academy so it didn't feel like a home and um I just feel like this whole year 2019 has just been such a 
it's like a year of blessings, like a year of receiving, receiving answers or receiving things that we've been waiting for. But it's also been a year of transition, a lot of like, just kind of like that middle ground. And then I feel like I'm hoping 2020 is the year we settle. Like, that's like the year my husband is really settled in his career. This is, that's, that's the year that I settle with like taking Kekoling Moon full time, that I settle with utilizing my real name for my business, my tarot biz. Um, settling in with the house, making it feel more like a home. Um, all of that. But I just feel like this year has just been like, it's gone by so fast because of all of like the just different things going on. I feel like it's just like one thing after another. <laughs> so anyways, just bear with me. Bear with me, you guys. Um, but thank you for listening to me rant and rave. Um, I feel better. I do. I feel better now that I like got it out. <laughs> but um, anyways, I'm going to go out check out, not go out, but check out, read, and um, just try to clear my head so I can hopefully do a reading or two. If I could get through two readings today, that's like progress, so <laughs> it's better than nothing, right? All right, you guys, talk to you guys later. Love you, and I will catch you in the next video diary. Bye, loves.